and welcome to Lynn TV. I'm Lucy Robson with today's main news stories from Paphos. The Paphos Tourism Board has confirmed to Lynn TV that local tourist bodies are seriously examining proposals from low-cost carrier Ryanair for an autumn start to a raft of new flights from the town. The plan would be for two aircraft to be based at Paphos, running 30 scheduled flights year-round. And President Christophius attended the official inauguration of the Citizen Service Centre in Paphos on Sunday. The centre acts as a one-stop shop for 64 services, normally dealt with by several satellite officers representing governmental ministries. And the deadline is fast approaching for the search for the most inspiring businesswoman in the fifth Cyprus Businesswoman Award. Of particular interest to the judges are businesswomen who have targeted a new niche or who are doing something innovative in an established field. Administered by the Paphos-based Cyprus Awards Scheme, this year's awards ceremony will take place at the British High Commission in Nicosia on May 20th. For further information on entering, go to the details on the screen. This week, Payer Neighbourhood Watch warned Paphos residents about the circulation of Egyptian pound coins, which closely resemble a euro coin. The Community Security Scheme, which officially started operating at the start of this year, said that the Egyptian coins were being given as change in the Paphos area. And Cyprus Airways will run flights to Russia after a decision made by Larnaca District Court today. Liquidated Euro Cypria filed the case against the national carrier, claiming that the routes to Moscow and St. Petersburg were its property. And finally, supporters of the blind are preparing for the Journey for Sight Walk, organized across Cyprus every April by the Pan-Cyprian Welfare for the Blind organization. The walk aims to raise awareness of the needs of the blind citizens on the island. Saturday's walk takes place at 4 p.m., starting and ending in front of Paphos Town Hall. All are welcome to participate. Well, that's all for this week's News Roundup. Join us again on Monday for a fresh update of local news. Oh